Hey guys, early last month, Grubterra reached out to me about obtaining some of their Black Soldier Fly larvae for review. I have always wanted to get my hands on these guys to see how my geckos like them. I've heard a lot about these guys in the reptile and chicken raising communities. Just not many pet stores in my area have them, and they are normally quite expensive for how many you get if they are in stock. Grubterra sells Black Soldier Fly larvae for reptiles, dried Black Soldier Fly for chicken, and they also have dog treats in various flavors. So with a great thank you to Grubterra for sending me a code for some Black Soldier Fly larvae. If you are interested in picking up some yourself, Grubterra has offered my viewers a discount. Grub10 will get you 10% off your order. And with that out of the way, let's start the video. I placed my order over the weekend of the 18th or 19th and had the insects delivered to me on the 24th. The package has plenty of ventilation and the box was fairly sturdy. Inside there was a cup containing larva and some paper filling for support. When I opened the cup and saw the larva, I was super happy at how lively they seemed. The substrate used by Grub Terra seems to be coca core, which is great because it can keep the cup humid and double as a source of moisture to clench their thirst on the trip. I decided to handle a few and get some up close shots. We can see they are segmented and look wildly different from your run-of-the-mill fly larva. They get much, much larger, and that may contribute to the difference in look as you can see more detail on a larger animal. They almost look like a rattlesnake's rattle. These guys are excellent snacks for nearly any insectivore as they are jam-packed full of goodies for your pets. From what I have been reading about these guys online is that they have around 17% protein and up to 14% fat. They offer similar nutrition as discoid and dubia roaches, slightly less protein and a little bit more fat. Dried black soldier fly larva have around 50% protein and 35% fat. I have looked over multiple sources and they all seem to have similar values for live and dry. So take with that what you will. Black soldier fly larvae are supposed to be high in calcium and it is toted that they can fulfill your pet's calcium requirements on their own. I do not agree with this at all. I think it is an unsafe assumption and while I have found sources that suggest this to be the case, I do not trust it. If it is wrong, you put your pet at risk. If you test it, you put your pet at risk. A calcium deficiency can cause lifelong damage and pain to animals animals like leopard geckos. There is no downside to always dusting your insects to ensure your animal is getting proper calcium. It is cheap, it is easy. Be good to your pets. So let's talk about the life cycle of these critters. It seems to be about 33 to 44 days, according to sources in the description, going by top end and low end estimates from birth until death. The larva spend nearly a month before pupating into a black soldier fly, where it will spend the next five to eight days reproducing before dying. The larva can be placed into a stasis-like state by lowering the temperature, much like mealworms. They can survive near freezing temperatures, and once warmed up, they reanimate and go right back to eating. They can be stored safely in your fridge between feedings to ensure that you get the most out of your larva before they transfer transform into adults. Right before the larva becomes an adult, they turn a very dark color, almost black, and move a lot less, and will eventually go into a pupa state, much like many other insects, and they don't move. Something interesting to know, adults apparently do not have mouths, which is really strange because when I think of a fly, I think of a mouth. I get mental images of one from Ren and Stimpy, like this. Completely crazy for them to not have a mouth, but that is nature at its finest. Anyhow, the females can lay an absolute ton of eggs before death. Multiple sources claim between 500 and 900 eggs. I am always skeptical of numbers like this due to it never having worked out before with any insect I bred. The estimates never come close to the yields. But that is a topic for another video. I'm not sure I have the skill set to tackle the subject to be honest. Nevertheless, I do know black soldier flies reproduce like crazy. Their larvae are extremely hungry and can consume many times their own body weight in decaying matter in a few weeks time. They will eat everything from leftover meals, undesired trimmings from meat, veggies, you name it, they will eat it. I'm sure there are some exceptions, but the main main thing to keep in mind is they are natural decomposers. An extra cool tidbit about these guys is that they create a compost byproduct, which is excellent for gardening, along with black soldier fly juice, which is supposed to be extremely helpful for your plants if you choose to breed them. Now onward to feeding my geckos, which this is where it becomes a little awkward, as all three of mine refused them as food. I've tried waiting a few extra days to ensure they were hungry and still could not get them to consume them. I tried dusted, I tried non-dusted, washed them, etc. I think the issue is, is that that my leopard geckos do not recognize it as food. They are used to mealworms, superworms, and discoid roaches, which are all larger than the larva and have more enticing movements. I was successful eventually with my male leopard gecko, Gonads. I didn't catch him striking it as I wasn't expecting him to go for it as I was literally just videoing him and he was uninterested. I caught him as he held it in his 
mouth, and he slowly backed into his hide, which is strange, as I have never had any of my animals respond to food like that, and they normally readily eat when food is presented. I am sorry for the lack of lighting in this footage. Two of my leopard geckos are albino and are sensitive to bright lights. In the end, my experience with Grub Terra has been one that is positive. It is highly unfortunate that I could not get my geckos to feed. I will continue to try over the next few weeks to see if I can get them adjusted. And again, I think the main problem is that my geckos have never eaten anything like this before and just don't see it being food. They are all two to five years old, so maybe a younger leopard gecko, or geckos that are fed a wider variety of food than what I feed mine, would be more receptive. I've seen plenty of videos out there where leopard geckos eat them. I really wish this could have gone different and got my geckos to eat. But alright guys, that about wraps it up. I want to thank Grubterra again for reaching out to me for a video review. Their website is grubterra.com. They offer live black soldier fly larvae, dried black soldier fly larvae, and even dog treats for your doggos on their website. In the end, despite my geckos not being receptive of the food, I still recommend Grubterra. Their customer service and public relation reps are very professional. The shipping time was quick and everything arrived alive and well. To all of you at home, if you have ever been interested interested in trying black soldier flies for your pets, I suggest giving it a go. My pets are just picky eaters and it was just bad luck of the draw. And remember, you can get 10% off using the code GRUB10 at checkout. If you like this video and you have it in your critter loving heart, give me a like, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos in the future like this. And as always, from the gizzards, GRUBTERRA, and I, have a wonderful day.